Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, um, I don't know why I've been putting off filming this video for a little bit, but I am home and um, yeah, today is my scheduling content day and I'm just sitting down here and I was like, you know what, let me just film it, get it over with and yeah. Just move on, I guess. <laughs> of course, if you hear any snoring, um, Dexter is right here with me. He's literally like by my feet. He has not left me alone. Um, yeah, he's literally been my little shadow over the past, um, oh my God, I'm not really good at maths. Um, oh, I don't even know how long it's been, but it's been a while. <laughs> like. Oh my god, wait, what is it? Like, half, halfway through last year? I don't know. We'll get into it. <laughs> As you can tell by the title, um, a lot of things have happened and I am just looking forward to such a fresh start. And yeah, I think 2024 is going to be an incredible year. It's going to be a very transformative year. And uh, yeah, I'm just so excited for it. I'm a little bit scared. But I think that's a good thing. Um, but overall, I'm very excited and optimistic. So, yeah, I guess let's just like dive right in. Um, so, I am currently in the process of getting divorced, and I think it's like, I never thought I would ever say that. When I got married, I never, ever, ever thought I would be the person saying that. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm in, a, in the process of getting divorced and it's been very interesting. Um, looking back on everything that's happened, I'm very, very thankful that it did happen. I feel like I am a much better person now and I'm a lot more happier and yeah, I don't know. I just have like a new love for life and... I'm just like going out a lot more, seeing my friends a lot more, experiencing new things and yeah, just kind of like soaking up what life has to offer and I said to my friend the other day, like, I just never knew that life could be this exciting. So about a week or two ago I would say, um, I ended up like doing like a little Q&A on my stories. Um, I said I was going to film this video and yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna read some of your questions and I will hopefully answer them. I actually haven't gone through any of them so I don't know if some of them are a little bit like I don't I don't know if I'm gonna answer all of them. Let's just put it that way because it might be a little bit weird and it might be like a little bit of a touchy subject. I don't know. Let's figure out <laughs> What um what questions um were sent in and yeah let's answer some questions. Like I expected, a lot of the questions um were about the divorce. <laughs> Don't want to jump straight in the deep end yet, so we're just gonna go with like a little bit of a, like a lighter question to start off with. Let's get into question one. How are you doing? Currently, I am doing great. It's been a very weird journey um, and this whole thing kind of started like around this time last year so it's kind of crazy to be like over the past 12 months my life has just been completely nuts and I've gone through a lot of lows but a lot of highs towards the end um, but yeah currently I'm feeling great very optimistic very excited for life and very happy. Next question, favorite snack you and Dexter can share? Okay, so me and Dexter absolutely love fruit. So whenever I do like a massive fruit salad or a bowl of fruit, we usually snack on them together. Or when I do like cheese and crackers, I will give him a little bit, but obviously not too much because cheese is super fattening for dogs. He farts so much. Anytime I give him cheese, um, and then the last thing would probably be popcorn. We love watching a movie, having a bowl of popcorn, and just stacking on it together. Next question was, what makes you feel the most free at the moment? Ooh, that is a good question. So I think it's having 
a lot of freedom and being able to be selfish and also kind of spending my time and my energy on myself and what I want to do instead of putting it into someone else or I don't know does that make sense <laughs> kind of like going through like the uh, the answer in my head and it makes sense up here but I don't know if it makes sense when I say it out loud kind of having the freedom to do literally whatever I want whenever I want like I ended up booking a solo trip to Amsterdam which I did vlog about um, and that was like one of the most freeing things I've ever did like I've been to Amsterdam before but I've always been with someone or I've always um, gone for like a work event and I never really kind of explored the place by myself or even go to a place somewhere where I don't actually know anyone and just kind of explore and do things on my like own time and whatever I wanted to do. So. Yeah, like those kind of moments makes me feel super free. Next question is, how are you? What things are you looking forward to this year? Lots of love. So, I, I'm good. <laughs> like I said before, I am good. And um, yeah, there's so many things that I'm looking forward to this year. Um, one of them is being more travel. I definitely want to just keep traveling. Like I stopped traveling for a while. Um, just because I wanted to stay home and yeah I kind of grew into the pattern of not really wanting to leave my house and I think that is what was making me deep down like not happy because I've always traveled I've always gone out I've always gone to like I always wanted to like experience life and just experience things um, but for some reason well, I know the reason, <laughs> um, I decided to kind of just stay home and kind of like take a step back and yeah, I don't know what was I thinking to be honest because that stuff like genuinely kind of didn't really make me happy, um, going out and exploring and interacting with people and learning new things, that's what made me happy and grow as a person, so I'm looking forward to doing that, also looking forward to getting my own place when this house sells. So yeah, unfortunately, um, this house is going on the market and I am trying to get this house out like as soon as possible because unfortunately this place does not feel like a home anymore so I don't really want to be here and to be honest, I haven't been here that much and I think that's what's helped me quite a lot is getting out of this house. So the moment that this house sells, like I cannot wait to move into my own place and decorate it how I want to decorate it, fill it with so many like girly things but also kooky and like weird things that I like and no one can say anything about it because it is my space and it is you know my little sanctuary that's what I want to make it. I am so so excited um I don't want to speak too much on my plans on what I want to do at the moment um, just because I want to keep it a little bit private for now, but it's going to be so exciting and it's something that I've been thinking about for a while and it's very, very scary, but I'm going to do it, I think, because I feel like you need to do something that scares you at least once in your life, right? And this is like a big decision for me, so I'm very, very excited, um, for that uh, this year but yeah fingers crossed my house sells very quickly <laughs> I know the market right now is terrible um, but yeah fingers crossed um, it sells very soon and I can move out got a little question from Millie was well, not really a question um, but Millie was like how are you so hot love from your favorite bestie love you bestie and you are also hot and yeah that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> next question how has your mental health been? Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna go like into like the deeper ones now. So if you wanna pause this video and maybe grab a cup of tea or a coffee and some biscuits or even popcorn, I don't mind, um, you can now because it's probably gonna be a little bit of a longish 
video. Anyways, let's get into it. How has your mental health been? Last year, it got very bad. I would say, like, June, May, June time was when I was really, really struggling with everything. Um, and then I think it was, must have been June or July, um, that I was struggling so bad that I ended up asking for help just because I didn't think I was gonna be here anymore. I didn't want to be here anymore, to put it. Well, not really likely, but yeah. Um, so I ended up reaching out, asking for help, and I got put into a four weeks intensive um, therapy, pretty much. Thankfully, I could do everything from home. I got check-ins and everything, and I didn't have to go anywhere because that was probably like my biggest fear was I didn't really want to leave the comfort of like my house to deal with everything, which I know probably isn't a good idea, but at least I got to stay home and kind of like work through it and process everything. Um, yeah, it was very, very difficult, but that really helped. And then I also started reading this book, which I have next to me, which honestly, I don't wanna be dramatic, but also kind of like saved my life, I would say, because it made me, um, changed my perspective on everything which was like mind-blowing to me i don't know why it's like the smallest thing right like things have happened that you can't change but what you can change is your perspective and once i learned that i was like Phew. i don't know like i just felt like a massive weight lifting off my chest looking at things in a different way really really helped me um so this is the book that I was reading. It's called Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before? And it's by Dr. Julie Smith. And she's absolutely incredible. Um, I have read it with like loads of um, highlights in it. Like I would highlight everything that I thought was absolutely amazing um, and that I want to go back to um, and stuff like that. So that's what's really helped me. Like I've literally <laughs> highlights every single page it is so good but yeah this book literally has changed my life and how I think about things and how I approach things going forward and just yeah like day-to-day -day life things too which is absolutely incredible um and then in September I actually got officially discharged I think it literally was on the day that I went into London for fashion week and from that moment I think my life has just been on a massive high and I have done so much in the past four months than I have in like five years which is absolutely crazy like I changed my perspective on um how I view life and yeah it's just been so fun and <laughs> I've just been saying yes to a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have said yes to and I have just made like so many new friends and experienced so many things that I generally didn't think I would and I enjoyed everything and yeah, I'm just more open-minded now and get this book. <laughs> I don't know, like this book has literally changed my whole life. Um, yeah, so thank you to Dr. Julie Smith for writing this book because it's absolutely incredible. Thanks to that book, my mental health has been great. Of course, I know that I will probably need to go back into therapy at some point, more so for like maintenance and like an MOT kind of thing. Um, so I'm looking at going back and doing kind of like general, you know, talks and stuff and just keep in check of like my mind and especially my body as well because I lost a lot of weight last year, like super quickly, obviously due to being super depressed and not having um, an appetite to the, everything that was going on behind the scenes. And I had so many messages asking me like what was um, my diet looking like, um, you know, what is my new workout plan, how did I drop the weight so fast. Um, I had one was like 
are you taking those Zembic? And I was like, what the hell? That's a little bit dramatic. Um, but like, yeah, it was absolutely crazy. And I ended up getting those messages every single day for however many months it was. And I just couldn't take it anymore. So hence why I did a post on Instagram, kind of just giving you guys a really quick update as to what's happening. Thankfully, <laughs> that kind of stopped messages. I've always been like a body positive person and I didn't want to come across as like I wasn't super happy with my body and I dropped all of this weight and all of this stuff. Like there wasn't anything to do with like looks behind the reason why I dropped a lot of weight. It was due to depression. I just wanted to be open and honest with you guys at the end of the day and um, yeah, I now don't get those messages so I'm super happy. And yes, I am putting back on some weight. I am eating a lot more again which is great and I've been going out trying loads of new different foods and stuff like that and cooking a lot more so I'm going to go back into um, a lot more cooking content as well. A little bit difficult at the moment just because I'm not really home that much but there will be some food content coming, don't worry. I'm also going to um, Thailand next month really quickly just to go back and see my family and I already have like some food content planned so I hope you guys are excited for that because I'm just going to be eating so much when I'm home. Next question. <laughs> oh someone actually did just ask how to deal with depression. I would say definitely ask for help or at least speak to someone that you feel safe with and comfortable with. I ended up getting some help through talking therapies and they were absolutely wonderful and they did a lot of check-ins with me and making sure that I was okay. And then I also started to talk to my family and my friends which for me it was like a whole different thing because I'm someone who doesn't like to bother people and I don't want to bother anyone with anything because I know everyone's going through stuff and you know everyone's super busy but once I opened up quite a lot to my friends they were I mean I know that they were going to be incredible because they are incredible people as my friends but the response oh I don't know why I teared up there oh my god um <laughs> and again once I teared up Dexter kind of like knows what's up and he's literally just right there to come check on me now um but anyways Sorry about that. No, wait, no. I don't have to say sorry when I get emotional. That is what I learned. <laughs> oh, I have to keep pausing the camera because I keep crying. Um, but anyways, <laughs> um, let me try to get through this. Right, so I think my friends are the most incredible people ever and they have been the best support system um, with everything that I've gone through. I'm super thankful for them. Oh my god! I need to stop! I need to stop because I need to film this before my camera dies. Definitely like reach out to your friends, your family. Literally, like they will listen and they will want to take care of you and you know at the end of the day like they're your friends and your family and they want the best for you so um, just reach out to them and just talk. Literally, like, I was struggling for so long because I really didn't want to feel like a burden, but the moment that I reached out to them, they were just so, so incredible at everything, and they're so loving, and, oh my god, I have not cried in a while. I was doing so well. <laughs> okay, let me just go touch up everything, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> and I fixed myself up. So, I'm okay. Right, let's move on to another question. <laughs> like I said in the beginning, there's a lot of questions of why did you get a divorce? Did you get a divorce? Um, are you divorced? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, okay, even one, are you still married? So, legally, still married but hopefully everything should be signed off and finalized in a few months fingers crossed like looking forward to that day 
very much. Thankfully, like, we don't have any kids and the only, like, asset that we're really splitting is the house. It doesn't complicate things that much and, yeah, thankfully there's no kids involved. So everything should go smoothly and easy peasy and, yeah, I can't wait for that day. <laughs> As M. Rada says, the new cool it girl thing is to get divorced by 30. And yeah, this will definitely be done and finalized before I'm 30 because I do not want to enter my 30s with this attachment. Um, I want to have a good, fresh, clean start and I'm very excited for that. Someone asked, how did it feel to let go of him? I'm still trying to get over my long-term ex right now. Oh, quite frankly, after I read this book, um and i signed the papers like the beginning to process like the divorce everything i didn't feel anything i actually felt like a weight had been lifted and i felt so much more lighter and happier and i think if i hadn't read that book and changed my perception of things and view things differently, I think I would have struggled really, really bad. And also, I've had my emotions turned back on since um, the beginning of everything. So that's helped me a lot because I used to kind of shut away my emotions, um, not cry, didn't want to deal with them, and that was not healthy. Yeah, since I had my emotions turned on and I process everything fully, like if I need to cry, I will cry and I will not apologise for it. And yeah, I just made myself like feel everything and kind of looking back on things and situations and be like, oh yeah red flag or like mm, probably should have ended it a long time ago you know like a lot of these things and I feel like um when I heard the quote the person you marry is not the person you divorce that really like struck a nerve with me is that the right word struck a nerve or like the light bulb kind of like went off in my brain and yeah that just made it a lot easier to let go at the end of the day i feel like you need to prioritize yourself and you shouldn't change and put yourself through a lot of shit for someone who doesn't appreciate you at the end of the day um and also like they don't care about your mental well-being so <laughs> so the moment that i decided to like choose myself and prioritize myself and be a little bit selfish that was when it was super easy for me to let go of someone who i know doesn't deserve me i hope that helps <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do one more question because i know that this video has been dragging on for a little while so let me just do it on one more question um so someone's asked how's your love life um, it is going great. I cannot complain. Um, I did dip my toe into the dating pond for a little bit. I don't even know. Like, it was a very short amount of time. And I wasn't planning on doing it. I was just speaking to a friend of mine and they were kind of like, yeah, why don't you just download an app, like go on it. You don't have to do anything um, just to see what's out there and kind of boost your ego a little bit. And I was just staying at home, rotting and being sad. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I will download an app and just figure it out and see what's out there. Because I was just saying to him how I was so nervous and scared because obviously I've never dated like in this era before. Um, and I was like, do you people still go to like coffee shops and meet organically that way? Or like, how does it work? I don't know. Anyways, ended up downloading an app. And um, I also had to Google how to use this app which was interesting and my friends also kind of like went through my profile and was like you know that like this is meant to be like to attract someone 
um, so I had to like change my pictures and like make it a little bit more, you know, attractive. Why is my camera not like really focusing? I've moved to like a clearer background, so hopefully this is fine. Um, but yeah, anyways, I had fun on the apps and I met some really interesting people and I came across someone and yeah, he's kind of now my boyfriend, which is kind of nuts. Um, never ever thought in a million years that I would be someone um, who would have a boyfriend again after so long. It's just wild to me and I still have to get used to it. But yeah, I wasn't looking for anything and he kind of just fell in my lap. <laughs> and he's like the best human ever. So yeah, I'm very excited as to see where this goes and yeah. I, I don't know, I don't want to like give too much detail, um, <laughs> he's a cutie and we've done a lot actually in the past few months, we've been together, we've done a lot of new experiences um, and yeah, I don't know, it's just very refreshing and to be in a relationship where like it's a healthy one and we communicate a lot like communication is huge for me um, and yeah I think that's our probably like our strong point is that we communicate very very well just makes things super great and yeah okay I know I know he's probably gonna watch this video and he's probably gonna text me like oh my god you spoke about me in your vlog yes I did babe <laughs> I'm happy I'm excited I'm very optimistic about this year and I can't wait to travel a bunch more and just experience life a lot more. Oh, actually, he did put in a question, but I don't think it was a question. Oh yeah, he's put, who's your favorite Irish man? Well, clearly you are. Anyways, I am gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very excited to see how this year goes. I think it's gonna be one of the best years of my life and yeah, I'm excited to take you guys along with me if you want to join. Hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys!